Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now what I'll be doing will be the installation of the SSD on the Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. Now this laptop comes already with a 512 gigabyte card, but of course that you, you would know that it's not enough for gaming. So I'm just going to install this SSD, which is two terabytes. And that of course will give you more than enough storage for gaming. All right, so let's get into this. Now you first start by removing the screws. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 screws. There are no hidden screws to remove as you would find most gaming laptops. So let's go. Important thing is to also store them in the way that you open them. This simple tip to always ensure you keep or remember when installing or opening a laptop. Okay, we're done with this part. Now you notice that the screws, they have different lengths. There are smaller screws in front and longer screws at the back. So now the next stage, of course, will be to do the prying. Let's get a simple pry tool. Okay, <laughs> now this definitely took a bit more elbow grease than with the Acer. Woo. So, I'm happy that it's over. And voila. There we have it. Now you can see the inside. Now, of course, this is just a quick chance to see how it looks. You can see the two fans. You can see the heat pipes and of course this is where the RAM is stored and there's a tape there so I guess if you're gonna change the RAM they would probably want to know all right now this is where the SSD will be going you can also use a HDD but I use the SSD now since it's what I have and the bra cell is sold with a caddy no, before it didn't come with the caddy, but this means that they're more friendly with opening <laughs> and you increasing the size. Now, as you can see, this is a space here. The space allows you to put in a larger bot battery, and you can then use the M.2 slot right here to expand your storage rather than using the caddy or rather than using the SSD or HDD slot. All right, so that's one thing that, that can be done. Of course, the other. M.2 slot is over here and so simple way of understanding how things go all right now what I usually try to do is before I do anything in the relation to a laptop I try to remove the battery or in this case just to dislodge the battery cable this is to ensure that there's less chance of static electricity and less chance of things breaking you don't want to break an expensive laptop like this. So what I do, move this around and I carefully ensure that I use a plastic tool to just gently, gently nudge it out. Be very careful with this, okay. And voila, it's out. 
Oh, this was very tight in there. We didn't want to come out at all. All right, good. Now with that out, let's go to the next stage. Now some would say it's not necessary, necessary, but I prefer to be on the safe side since we're dealing with very expensive equipment here. And I think it's better to be safe than to be sorry. One thing I would probably say not to do is to remove the entire battery. Do not remove the entire battery. That is more problematic than just removing the connector. There's a reason why they put a the connector there. Okay, so I'll gently slip it out from under there. Disconnect. And this is what you have. Now, next stage, very simple. Connect what you have. Now, simple, but that's Lean it out and this caddy space will be removed. Good. Okay, now what I noticed because I was wondering why the caddy is not screwed in, there are four screws in here. So I just noticed that that is pretty cool, they're, they're like well hidden. You know, could be less well hidden. So let me just take this out and screw that in and then come back to this. Okay, so I did this and I put it together. So now the last part here will just be to put this back in before I screw it in tightly. Actually, no, let me, let me screw it in to ensure everything is in place before I put that in. Alright, our final step. sure it's not coming out easily and that is that all right now let me just close it up back the battery all right so you want to be very careful again And it started okay as you can see it's right there installed ready to go fully functioning all right now the usual process is just close up the rest and put in the screws back in the order they came in I'm gonna go through all of that but I just want to show you that this is how you install it process is very straightforward very simple but at the same time, you want to be very careful. You want to take all the measures, precautions. You want to ensure that you put it on the surface that does not attract static electricity. Wear anti-static band just to be safe. 
and also to use the right tools preferably plastic tools except where you're opening the screws all right so this is Asa here if you want to see more videos like this do please subscribe please press like because you know <laughs> this is a lot of work and it helps to bring this more out to other people so if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment and I'll see you again in another video